So uh, this is the Coin Sorting Motivational Bank. Um, it serves as a centralized storage for coins, uh, but it also functions as a bank in the fact that um, each user has an account uh, on their on this touchscreen that's, that's powered by an Arduino, where they can store their money, set a goal, and then also note their percentage towards their goal. So if I have a goal of five dollars and I put in two seventy five, um, this goal pole here, which we'll explain later, will move up to show me the percentage towards my goal. So when you turn it on, it does a little power self-test, just make sure that everything's working. Our touchscreen is really the main processor for this entire project. Um, so it just tells us to touch the screen to continue. And it asks for your pin number. So it's a touch, or it's a pressure sensitive screen. So when I log in as an admin, I have two different options. I can either go to my account or I can change the balances of everyone else's account. Um, so. To start off, I'll go to my account, and it says welcome. Um, it shows me my balance and my goal, and I'm at 8% right now. So if I want to go ahead and add some money. So here's the add money screen. So there's a quarter. <laughs> so nickel. So there's a nickel. Nickel. Penny. But another thing that I can do is I can change the goal. So right now he has 49 cents in his account and his goal is $5 and he's at 9%. So if we were to change his goal to be $1, it should get him up to close to 50%. Which he's at 48% and the goal pull will go up to the next, or the closest so percentage, which would be 50%. We added 77 cents to Josh's account here, which should get him up to the 100%. So to get back to that screen, you just gotta push the enter button. And you can see it, it um, added the money to his account, so now he has $1.25. Um, his goal is still a dollar, and uh, he's at 125%. So the goal pull reflected that and went all the way back up. Um, to, to get that thing to go back down, all you have to do is log out, and it's uh, the Arduino sends a command to a pick that basically resets the entire system for you. So then if someone tries to steal it, I'm just gonna take all this money. That's you awesome. can hear the alarm go off. <laughs> the alarm's going off. <laughs> so when the alarm goes off, the only way to shut it off is this is an admin key, which is actually just a set of resistance values um, on a USB connector. So we plug the admin key into the side here it shuts off the alarm. And so the way that works is that there's a pick inside our project box that um, when you plug this in, it reads the voltage between these two resistors that are in series. And then inside this project box, there's, there's um, the same set of resistance values. And so it compares it with those, that voltage that it reads from the onboard set of resistors to the one on the admin key. And if they're within 5% of each other, it reads that the admin key is there and will shut off the alarm. So then another thing that the admin key does is it allows you to open the bank. So if I insert it here like so, the solenoid, there's a solenoid on the side here that fires and releases the door from this hatch here. And so you can open it. Then after five seconds, the buzzer will go off with a different sound, not the alarm, saying that, hey, you idiot, you left your key in, take it out. So then if you take it out, it will go back. And then you can see that it, it locks shut. Let's say there's a power outage right now. Um, which, if you want to go ahead and just unplug that. So, the issue here is that the goal pole is now at 100%. So, if you start it, or if you tried to turn it back on um, and it just tried to do its power self test, it would try and run itself off and come back down. So, it, the, the position of the goal pole is actually stored in the EEPROM of the PIC so that anytime it starts up, it gets itself down to zero. So, if you want to plug it in, It'll go all the way back down, and then it'll start its power on test. If we put in a nickel, um, you should be able to see the nickel roll past it. And you'll notice that the nickel rolls past the first three sensors here, and but not the quarter, obviously, as it falls in the slot. When the coin rolls past it, it blocks the light, and they're just photocells. 